Hello, my friends. You are welcome once again to our series on friendship this week. And these are excerpts from my book, Who is Your Friend? And in our episode this week, we are looking at something different on loving our friends. Loving our friends. And in this week, we are looking at this. Anyone who loves you despite their knowledge of you has incredible traits for lasting friendship. That is why God is not only our father, but also our friend. He loves us unconditionally. So who is your friend? Who is your friend? Brothers, friendship is a relationship of love. And the love of friendship in Greek is called philia or philio or filio, depending on how you want to pronounce it. It is the kind of love that brings people together into a platonic relationship. It helps people to love each other and become committed to each other's development and progress. Whereas friendship is important on the journey of life. The world could sometimes be harsh, cold, and unfair. There are times when mistreatment, disappointment, and despondency occur. Some of these could mount pressure and discomfort on us, and sometimes even intensify our situations to reach astronomical proportions. This is why we need friendships that would become our life's jacket when we are drenched by the rains of life. Friendship is very important on the journey of life. Brothers, we need friends who would love us for who we are. Friends are not always the same. We are all from different backgrounds and we are all different in character, in conduct, in lifestyle, personality and even destiny. Every friend is different and it's important for us to recognize when we come into friendship with people, their difference from us and not their sameness to us because it is in their point of difference that determines their significance in life. My brothers, when you love your friends for who they are, you unlock their potentials and abilities to grow and develop into their highest levels of excellence. That is why we have to understand this, that we can love our friends or love your friends without judgment. Love your friends without judgment. Ebert Hubbard said that a friend is someone who knows all about you and still loves you. Friendship is a place Friendship is actually not a place of prejudice, discrimination, and even underestimation of people. In friendship, we try as much as possible to do away with some effects, such as the halo effect, primacy effect, recency effect, and even overgeneralization effect. Living by this effect will weaken and destroy your friendships. That is why when you love your friends without judgment, you create the atmosphere for them to increase and grow. Many times we enter into friendship and become centered on ourselves, criticize our friends, judge them wrongly, and always want to be defensive in everything we do. But this week, we want you to meditate on this particular quote for this week or our episode for this week because many of the people we have in our life have been through unfavorable past experiences that hinder them from development, success and expansion. Some were told they weren't good enough others were denied the freedom to live. Some were harshly maltreated, abused, undermined and discriminated against. Many bad memories have already happened in their lives, 
So we don't have to add up to their pain by looking down on them. Let them experience the uncommon love of God in our hearts. Let our friends be loved. We have to love our friends fully. Love your friends unconditionally. Love your friends sacrificially. Love your friends genuinely. Love your friends universally. Love your friends eternally. This is how God designed us to love our friends. So let's love them as much as God loves us. And he will bless us exceedingly. I pray that this week will be a lot of blessing to us in the name of Jesus. And once again, I'm John Arthur, the author and the author of Who is Your Friend? And we entreat you to get a copy of our book, which is now available on Amazon. And God will surely use it to enrich and bless your life in Jesus' name. Amen. To meet again next week. Enjoy this week and have a blessed week. In Jesus' name. Amen.